Our other top story today, a deadly 12 hours across Chicago, 31 shooting victims, three of them are fatal. CBS 2's Eric Cox is live now where four of the victims were shot right out of, outside Northwestern University's law school. Eric. Jim, while it's back to business as usual here at Lakeshore Park, directly across the street from Northwestern's Pritzker School of Law, detectives are telling me they're busy working to decide whether or not that quadruple shooting was in fact connected to a stabbing that occurred around the same time in this same general area overnight. Officers also telling me that overall crime is actually down citywide, but those statistics not soothing for people who call Streeterville home. Flowers blooming in the breeze, runners zooming by, Chicagoans of all ages out enjoying a little fresh air at Lakeshore Park in Streeterville Saturday. But hours before, police tape wrapped around the park's fence, extending over to Northwestern's Pritzker School of Law across the street. Shell casings on the ground after four men between the ages of 25 and 28 were shot around 2 a.m. No matter what neighborhood you live in, when you wake up in the middle of the night to the sound of gunfire, you feel unsafe. Unsafe is never how Second Ward Alderman Brian Hopkins wants Streeterville to be described. Yet photos reveal residents waking up to liquor bottles littered throughout Lakeshore Park, where alcohol is prohibited. And even though the park closes at 11, well, North Alderman North Hopkins tells CBS2 beachgoers ditch the sand and set up here. Their illegal parties last. Into 2 or 3, 4 a.m., uh, sometimes they go all night, uh, and that's where the violence eventually happens. What do you feel could be done to prevent these illegal parties from happening in the future? I'll be asking the mayor to assign a post in the overnight hours here at Lakeshore Park. While Alderman Hopkins meets with Mayor Lightfoot, others are also trying to work things out. Yeah, I walk over here, this is where I come to do my exercise. Dr. Henry Wiggins has called Streeterville home for nearly 30 years now. now. The same place that you're coming to exercise just hours later, people are congregating and committing crimes. How does that leave you feeling? Doesn't make you feel good. Well, no good. And at last check, all four victims are still in the hospital and still currently in stable condition. Both Northwestern University and Chicago police confirming for us this evening, Jim, that those victims are neither students at the school or residents of Streeterville. Detectives also reassuring that they believe arrests in regards to that quadruple shooting will be made soon. And it's all thanks to video evidence they were able to collect from area cameras. We're live just outside Lakeshore Park this evening. Eric Cox, CBS 2 News. Jim? Eric, thank you.